My, oh my freaking god, yo. yo. I'm gonna cry. They got three of them. Why? What is good, everyone? Decan here today, and thank you for tuning into the Retro World. Guys, this is officially the very first episode of Toy Hunting. Now, I know some of my longtime subscribers have definitely seen toy hunting, toy pickups, amiibo hunting, all types of stuff like that here on this channel. Usually, that stuff is kind of sprinkled into the video game hunting series we drop um, Friday mornings. So I've been wanting to do another side series here on this channel. I have a huge passion for toys, although we don't really have a lot of room to display everything. That is going to change throughout this series. As you guys can see, we have these shelves over here that we're most likely going to end up rearranging as the series goes on. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into our first segment. I am hanging out with Liz and we are at the freaking thrift store that we love going to. This place has super cheap stuff and we actually end up finding quite a bit. So guys, without further ado, let's get to it. Guys, we are at a thrift store and we came across whatever these are. Oh my God, look, we got Leo. What is this pillow pet? Dude, what does it do? Oh my god. It's a pillow. Ah. Did we cover it by you? <laughs> Guys, these things are so sick. <sighs> this is the type of stuff that I just have to get, but it's like, do I need it? Where is it gonna go? Hey, we saw one of those at a Goodwill. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> we'll see. We're gonna think of these guys. All right, what we got over here? Hey, what is this? What the? It's kind of cool. Guys, another random find. So pay attention to the toy section. We come across this. It's Flipbot made by Tommy or made by Tommy. Guys, this is worth around 20 to 30 dollars. Crazy. We're probably gonna get it for like 50 cents. Definitely, definitely picking this one up. What'd you find? A wand. Oh. It just needs batteries. Here, show it off. That's cool. Harry Potter? Or is it just like a plastic wand? I think it's from Harry Potter. It looks like it might be. This is 2018. I actually paid for that out of my box. Somebody that ran out of here. There's batteries there. That's cool. What else is in here? Oh, that's cool. Oh, I'll pick that up. There's a bunch of toys in here. Oh, we definitely. Here, just pull the whole thing out. Let's look. Let's see what we got. What is this? It's like an accessory or something. Oh, yeah. Let's get down to the bottom. Oh, that's kind of cool. 2017. Ooh, that's sick. Dang, some of these are awesome. Oh, we got. Oh my gosh, this this freaking. This flip bot. This is so cool to me. Alright well, guys, we got uh we got some stuff in here. Donna freaking Tello. He's just oh my gosh, what is he doing? From Burger King, what is this, 2003. So Liz just found this in this bin that we're looking through. So this is like pretty sick. Definitely uh, gonna be picking this up, I guess. 
All right, guys, that is the first segment of this episode. We love going to thrift stores. You just never really know what you're gonna find. Now for this next part, I'm getting up with my good buddy, Jack. He freaking loves toy hunting. He's actually a huge reason I have grown to love toys over the years. He's always been going after like Batman, Ninja Turtles, all types of stuff like that. So him and I get up and we go to Big Lots of all places. Like Big Lots is not a store that you would think would have toys, but believe it or not, they actually do. Bro, let's see what we got. Marvel Battle World. Things. Some Halo. Yeah, this is just like the trying to get them out the door. Little gifts, I guess. Yeah, I think they have actual uh, little toy section. Yeah, somewhere. Let's go look. Oh, Micro Machines. That's kind of cool. You see this little Avengers figure? That's cool. Just seeing like the old back cards though, or the backings. Sick. Because I do like those a lot. Yeah. I feel like I remember this stuff when I was younger. But oh, I don't yeah. I don't think I had a bunch of it, but I do remember like seeing this stuff when I was a kid. I remember that though. Like you touch it and it'd be like lightning. That used to be a thing when I was a kid. Creepy cards. Oh, and you would make the dummy. That's actually like Dude, it's it, it seems like they just kinda like bring back like well, everything. Things are coming back, it looks like. I remember that too. I don't think I had this once again, but I do I remember I, do I remember, remember this name and seeing something like this. You creepin' oh I'm so creepin' and crawling. Creepin' creepy crawling. It's the creepy crawlers bug maker. I had like a small scale one. Was like, this? Oh, okay. You would make them, right? I was about to say they had the maker and you would make it. Exactly. Oh, here's some stuff. Hey, I see some Mario toys. Fire Mario. Dude, those are sick. Yeah, I need Dang, to. I need to dig like mine a out. Off. That's, it's not a. It's not a Star Wars one, but it's a rip off of it's a Star a Wars space blaster. Space Defender blaster. Little collector pack. There you go, bro. Start Actually, kids off young. Love that. That is sick. She has some like that already. One of her favorites. Hey, some. Oh, these aren't real. Some dinosaur claws? Some, some fake ones, but... You'd think they would have something like Jurassic Park related in here, but maybe not. What do we got up here? Oh, that's kind of cool. Power Rangers. A little sneak did, I like that you're, you lo you're looking at G.I. Joe, and I'm like, Power Rangers. Let's did you see. know they're doing a movie? I didn't know that. For for what? For a G.I. Joe? A Power Ranger movie and series on Netflix. I didn't know that. On I Netflix? I saw it yesterday. That's sick. And then I was thinking that was weird because I was like, Dan probably would have said this already. Yeah. No, I didn't I didn't even know about that. That's awesome. Because First was, like, time a hearing a it. random video and I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Lego. And they had these in Ninja Turtle. I, would, I think I've seen somewhere that has these, but Ninja Turtle. Oh, that's kind of cool. I would get that because I'm a sucker for like mini figures. Yeah. I don't know why. Micro figure. Matchbox. It's just Pikachu hiding in all of these. That's it. Anything cool over here? Fortnite stuff. Not for me. For someone out there though. Hey, what's this comics thing? This is kind of cool. It's just like a random book of comics. Ruining them. What is it? Though? It looks like old kind of. Don't comics know. Thing. Multi pack of out of print collectible comics. That's what I'm saying. It looks like old artwork, like '80s artwork. Is there anything else over here that looks cool? Sports cards. Kind of random, but like, yeah, nothing on that. Yeah, not really sports stuff, but kind of cool to see, I guess. All right, everyone. So that was Big Lots. Shout outs to the homie Jack. It's always fun hanging out with you, bro. Um, we came across some cool stuff, like that creepy crawler set I thought was really awesome. Definitely like a huge like nostalgic rush seeing that. And then not that we're like really going after a lot of comics, although I'm sure we're going to end up picking some up. Um, seeing comics at Big Lots I thought was crazy. I've never seen that there before in my life. So pretty cool. Guys, for this next segment, we are going to the Goodwill bins. So the Goodwill bins is basically the Goodwill outlet. And what that is, they have these giant bins of like clothing. Um, sometimes you'll find crazy toys, like random things that just look like junk. You basically dive in, you dig through all of this stuff. You're flipping trash over. You're finding video games sometimes. You find cool collectibles, like it's insane. Sometimes it gets a little bit chaotic, but that's just kind of how it goes. Anyways, Liz and I go to the Goodwill bins and we find some pretty cool stuff. Guys, we are currently at the Goodwill bins where you can find stuff super, super cheap. And we came across this little Bart Simpson sitting down. It's kind of cool. It looks like his mouth might be broken or something. I don't really know, but. This is gonna end up being like just a couple of cents. So I figure we're probably gonna pick this up right here. And then we saw this as well. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is from a show I watched when I was a kid. It looks like Bobby's World. I might be wrong, but I think this is from Bobby's World. So I'm gonna pick this up too. 
And then we want to show off a couple other things that we found. So we found this right here. This isn't anything too crazy. This is definitely like a newer figure, but I thought it was kind of cool. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick that up yet. And then look at this little guy. There we go. There we go. This little Raphael. This little Ninja Turtle. He's kind of cool. He's definitely newer, but 2016. Probably going to pick that up too. And then look, this too. I thought this was kind of interesting. Just this like Walt Disney World, you know, kind of vintage looking cup. All right, guys, we are diving in and we came across this little mummy. There's just so much cool stuff in here. Like, you just don't know what you're going to find. Okay, look at this, guys. Kind of cool. All right, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that as much as we did. We try and go there pretty often just because you, like I said, you just never know the type of stuff that you are going to find. Now guys, for this next segment, we actually go back to the same thrift store on a different day that you guys saw at the beginning of this video. This is just one of those places. They got bins of toys. Like it's always different every single time we go. We gotta keep going back to these places. We gotta keep hunting video games, toys, and things like that. Let's get into it. Guys, we are at the thrift. We came across this vacation viewer. I don't know anything about this, but I did see it was from 1997. I thought this was kind of cool. Yeah. It open? open it up. Come on, let's see what's in there. Is it not open? It should. What? Does it not open? open? Oh, I don't think it opens. Pokemon Company, Nintendo. It makes it noise. Yeah, we'll have it's to like, open open this up. Like a speaker on the back. This is sick. Yeah. Yeah, definitely gonna pick that up. That's cool. Look, this is from 1997. Look at this little guy. Oh, this is sick too. Got a little pile going. Thing in here. Look, Casey Jr. What is this? I've never seen this before. Guys, look at this. Look at this little Pac-Man arcade. We keep coming across Pac-Man stuff in general here on the channel. Dude, this is sick. It's missing the back, but just like as a display piece. You see this? What? Look, this little Pac-Man arcade. Oh, cool. You're coming home with me. Guys, Powerpuff freaking cookie jar this is kind of cool y'all this thing is actually pretty sick who watched powerpuff girls when they were younger i know some of y'all did don't try and act like you didn't guys came across this crayola little alarm clock i just thought this thing was pretty sick it's not something you would see every day looks like it is from 1993 how cool is that y'all we freaking love going to the thrift store um, just to let y'all know everything that we've been picking up throughout this episode, we are going to show off everything at the very end. Felt like that would just be a little bit easier, but we definitely came across some pretty cool stuff. That Powerpuff Girls cookie jar was like, whoa, like just something you would never expect to see. And there it is. Now, guys, for this final segment of the very first toy hunting episode ever, we go to Walmart. And I know some of y'all are probably like, Walmart? Yes, I want to let y'all know that this series isn't just like yard sales and thrift stores and things like that. It's going to be all over the place. We're going to be going to retail stores, Target, Walmart, Best Buy, like all types of places like that. Just because you never know. They have new toys all the time. I love looking at them, even if they're not necessarily like vintage or retro. Like it's still so sick to me just to see like the new products that come out. Um, and I'm happy that, you know, we get to take you guys along. But anyways... We're gonna go to Walmart and oh man, we find, oh, we find something amazing. One of the things I like to look for when I hit a Walmart are these little figures that they have. Look at this one. I've actually never seen this in particular. Usually they have like Mario and Luigi and stuff like this, but this is actually pretty sick. Shout outs to Jack Pacific. They usually put these type of toys out, but I thought this was pretty freaking awesome. Shout outs to Knuckles. Look at that, we got Sonic, Shadow, Super Sonic, and I don't know how to pronounce the last guy, but I've definitely seen him before. Let's keep hunting. All right, guys, we have some more figures over here. None that I am currently looking for. Hey, look, we got that whole line. Oops, 
breaking stuff already. I'm gonna put that back, sorry. Well, we got that little guy that we just saw, so that's cool. Yeah, look at this, supersonic. That's pretty awesome. These things are so sick. Like they just sit perfectly on a shelf. Like if you're just collecting them or whatever, like you don't even have to take them out of these little packages. These are pretty cool. Maybe we'll find uh, we'll find Sonic at some point. All right, we found these over here. So we have Blue Yoshi. We got Luigi. We have, oh no, bro, what happened? Where is your head? Oh no. Hey, look, we got Sonic. Oh man, this is awesome. And let's see what else we got. We got Boo. That is pretty cool. And it looks like they are stocked full. So these are by like the checkout lane. So if you go to Walmart, pretty much where you go to checkout, you'll see all of these type of toys. I have a pretty good amount of these chilling at the house. All right, guys. So I got a little tip from my buddy Jack. And he told me that they had TMNT party wagon. So guys, I'm not gonna lie, that is what we are looking for. Will we find it? <sighs> I freaking hope so. But while we are here, you know we gotta look at everything else. Look at this, Beast Wars. I was actually just talking to Jack about this show recently. He was talking about this and I was like, dude, that brings back memories. It was not a show that I watched like a lot of, but I do remember seeing it on TV. So this is pretty cool. I don't know if this is something we're gonna end up collecting, but maybe down the road, I don't know. Guys, we have Transformers, we got Optimus Prime, and it looks like there's just a bunch of Optimus Primes. Transformers was a show that I was never crazy about. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, but I watched Power Rangers, which was literally a ripoff, I feel like, of this show, but, or at least the Zords. I don't know, that's what I watched. I freaking loved it. Guys, I'm a little stressed right now. I need to find this freaking party van before it's gone. Where is that party van? It's gotta be in here somewhere. I don't see it. I don't see it. Excuse me, have you seen the party wagon? Nope, could be down here by the Hot Wheels. I don't know why it would be by the Hot Wheels, but nope. Guys, oh my, oh my freaking God, yo. Dude. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm gonna cry. They got three of them. Why? Why do they have three of them? Y'all. Oh my freaking God. We finally found it. I have been wanting this for so long, especially since I found out that they reissued it. And I was, I'm not gonna lie. I was even checking on eBay. And y'all know we are not trying to buy stuff on eBay. We gotta find this stuff out in the freaking wild. If we can, of course. I know with toy hunting, a little different than video game hunting. It's gonna be hard, I feel like, to find a lot of the stuff out in the wild. But, yo, shout outs to Jack. Oh my God. And look, look at this price. This is this is really cheap. $34.97. So it'll be like 36 or so after tax. Oh my God. Guys, this is so sick. All right, guys. Now that we've freaking almost cried about this, let's let's look at some other toys. Let's see who we got here. Oh yes, we got Donatello. Y'all, drop a comment and let me know who your favorite Ninja Turtle is. I'm sorry, Donatello, you are not my favorite. We got Mikey, we got Michelangelo, and I gotta say, I am sorry, Michelangelo, you are also not my favorite. You know what? I don't even think they have my favorite here. We got Donnie again. We got Michelangelo. We do not have Leonardo. And we don't have Raphael. Raphael is my favorite. Oh, this is sick. Michelangelo Bebop. Dude, these freaking packs are so cool. Look at like the details on these toys now. It's freaking amazing. Let's see what we got on the back. Get all. I want to say really the good guys, but these are not the good guys. These are the bad guys. But I always like, I don't know why, I freaking loved the villains for like any cartoon when I was younger. So these are somehow still some of my favorites. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we got Leonardo and Rocksteady. That's awesome. And we got a puppy that is barking at us. 
Okay, and it's talking apparently. What else we got over here? We got some pretty cool Toy Story stuff. Oh man, I just picture these little guys in the crane machine. Ooh, like that. It moves. Every single time I see them. Oh, look at this. This is pretty cool. Y'all, they're getting, they're getting pretty creative with these Mario sets. I feel like a younger version of me would have like wanted all of these. I mean, honestly, the older version of me still wants all of these, but don't really have the space. You gotta kind of think about that. When you pick up toys, you're picking up video games. You're like, do I, do I have the space for this, you know? Aw, is right, I don't. <laughs> See what else we got up here. We got a red Koopa Troopa. Those are always cool. Oh, who had a Duncan? Yo, 1597 for a Duncan? No way. That's gotta be in the wrong spot. This has gotta be like five bucks or like less. No disrespect to the Duncans, but come on now. That's crazy. All right, guys, what else do we have here? Look at this. We got the retro Morphin Power Rangers. We got Kimberly. I was gonna say, these are the ones where the heads flip in, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, they are. So you see it right there. Let's see who else we got. Do we have the Red Ranger? Do we have the White Ranger? Or is this one they had? I don't know if the White Ranger came in this line or if it was the Green Ranger. Oh, oh, both of them. Huh. I wonder why they did that. I wonder if it was just like, hey, we know everyone wants both of those. So why not, you know, like, let's do both of them. So Pink Ranger again. We got Trini, we got the Yellow Ranger. That's awesome. Oh, sorry guys. Ninjor, oh, I remember him. Is it just nothing but Ninjor back here? Ah, uh, yeah, it is. Guys, I wanna come here and just buy all the freaking toys, but we gotta do this little by little. Try and get one, one, maybe two cool things every time we go on the hunt, but we'll see you guys. We'll see how that goes. Oh, look at this. Dino Fury Megazord. That thing looks crazy. Look at this Spider-Man shooting the web. Pretty cool. Oh, little Groku. Lots of cool Star Wars stuff. Uh, got Chewie, that's awesome. Batman, Gorilla versus Kong. Yeah. These Daredevil figures are pretty sick. Kenner, of course you gotta have Daredevil, that's awesome. Just these like, I love that they're just bringing back like all the old stuff, you know? I think it would be cool to get, you know, some of the older like vintage actual like original stuff, but it's also cool that like, you know, you can pick up these newer ones and still celebrate them. Oh, we got Electro. Is that in the back, Captain America? Yeah, he's hiding back there. All right, over here we got tons of, well, not even tons. It looks like people are just buying them up. Bunch of what was Hot Wheels. And I always love coming over here and checking out the Mario Kart ones. You guys know we are a huge Mario and Nintendo fan. We got Diddy Kong. We got light blue Yoshi. We got Toad and we got Waluigi, everyone's freaking favorite. Bowser hanging out. We got Luigi. These are sick. Part of me wants to like collect all of these, but mm, I mean, the price isn't bad, but it's just like, do I want to take it out of the package? Yeah, I definitely do. <laughs> Dry bones. Oh, that's cool too. I don't know why, I'm really drawn to like the way these are. A little like paraglider style, so sick. So cool that they're like doing this, especially just for like the younger generations out there. Imagine just being like a little kid and this is like the Hot Wheels you get for Christmas. Like that is so sick. Yo, Tech Dex, who remembers playing with these in the middle of class until the teacher was like, yo, you gotta put that up. <laughs> I feel like that happened all the time, dude. So sick. Three flip. And over here, we got some Halo figures. We got Master Chief. Pretty cool stuff. If I was like a bigger like Halo fan, I feel like I would have to have all of these. Oh, these are awesome. Definitely a game you get super sucked into. Oh yeah, we gotta check out some wrestlers. Let's see what we got here. We got The Rock. It's about drive, it's about power. <laughs> oh man, that song. It's stuck in my head for way too long. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is. Oh, we got some He-Man, a little bit of Skeletor. I have been recently watching the new Netflix series that they made and surprisingly, it's pretty good. I didn't grow up watching He-Man. It's one of those shows I wanna kinda go back and maybe watch the entirety of at some point, but the new show is pretty sick, still pretty cool. Oh, look at this battle cat. This thing is freaking massive. And look, we got another one down here. I guess it's like a smaller scale. We got it. All right, y'all, that was the footage from Walmart. Big shout outs to the homie Jack. He let us know that, hey, I 
I think you need to go to Walmart. I think, uh, I think something is gonna be there for you. And it was! Something was definitely there for us. Oh my gosh. So guys, two things. One, we're gonna take a little bit of an up close look at this. And then two, we gotta clear this freaking shelf so we can make some room for this bad boy. And as you guys can see, the shelf has been cleared and now we have a little bit more room here in the game room for some toys. All right guys, here it freaking is. Look how sick this looks. It already has all the stickers on there, which honestly is pretty cool. I kind of thought I was gonna have to put all the stickers on myself, but nope, not the case. So this part right here opens up. Very, very awesome. Now we gotta get a bunch of turtles and fill it up. And then you can take this part off. And then this part opens up too. Boom! And you put your little turtle in there and then he's good to go. So y'all, this thing is so awesome. I think I'm gonna actually keep it in the box so that way we can display the whole box. Eventually, if we get some more room, maybe we'll take it out of the box. But for now, probably gonna put it back up in there at least. And then it did come with some accessories as well. So I thought that was pretty sick. Guys, for, you know, whatever we spent on this, like 30, 35, $36, like it's definitely worth it. Like this thing is so sick. All right, guys, let's add it to the shelf. Ta-da! Oh man, look how cool this thing looks. Oh, it is perfect. SpongeBob, you like it? <laughs> Y'all, so sick. And like I said, I think eventually we'll probably clear this top shelf too. Um, and these shelves right here can just be for all the toy pickups, but pretty, pretty awesome. All right, y'all, and we gotta talk about the other toys. We picked up maybe too much for this first episode, but we got this little Raphael figure. Huh, huh. He does that little weird movement. He's uh, he's kind of cool. So this one, uh, this one's gonna end up on the shelf. One of the cooler finds was this little Pac-Man cabinet. Now it doesn't have the battery cover, unfortunately, but this is just gonna be a display piece. So this whew, is gonna end up on that shelf too. All right, one of the other finds we got at the Goodwill bins was this little Bobby's World figure. Just thought it was pretty cool. Said, why not? It was super, super cheap. So he's ending up on the shelf as well. Another one of those random pickups. Some of this stuff I feel like at some point might not end up on the shelf, but for now we got to add it to the shelf. And we cannot forget about this little guy, little Bart Simpson here. Kind of cool. I freaking love the Simpsons. So, and guys, another addition. We got this Pokeball. This is, this is definitely like newer. This is from 2017, so nothing too crazy, but we'll get some batteries in it at some point and hopefully it still works. If not, this thing is gonna look beautiful on the shelf. Next up, we got this little vacation viewfinder. One of those just random oddities that we picked up. You know, I thought it was kind of interesting. We're gonna add it. All right, and a few more pickups. We got this little guy right here. As you guys can see, he was 25 cents, which is awesome. We got this little wind up Donatello. loud but so awesome he's gonna look great right next to that party wagon all right and next up from the mighty ducks just this little figure right here it was cheap <sighs> guys i feel like at some point we're gonna have to set like limits on the things that we pick up but for now oh man <laughs> the world is ours all right guys and last but not least this little flip bot Y'all, this thing was a really, really cool pickup. I feel like he's definitely gonna stay in the collection, at least for now, but it is crazy to think about. We could probably sell this guy right here and that would cover like the cost of this party wagon or like some of the cost, which is crazy. So I don't know how much of that we're gonna be doing on this side series. This is just more about the love of like collecting and we'll kind of see where it goes, but it's cool to know that we have some stuff that we can maybe trade or sell off in the future. And guys, after just our very first episode of toy hunting, we've already filled up the entire shelf. Oh, I don't know if this is a good problem to have or a bad problem. Oh, guys, this concludes our very first episode of toy hunting. 
ever. I appreciate all of y'all. If you are new here, definitely hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the content. And if you really enjoy the content, make sure to hit that like button and drop a comment as well. Just let me know what your favorite thing was that you saw in today's episode. Let me know maybe if something like pulled on those nostalgia strings from your childhood. I love hearing about all of that stuff. Guys, until next time, I appreciate all of y'all. Peace.